Welcome back to Minty, and today we'll be speaking about Aristotle's laws of physics. And remember, we'll be going based on the CSEC physics syllabus. Aristotle was a Greek philosopher and scientist. His writings cover many subjects, including physics and biology, even music and politics. It was Aristotle who first developed a systematic set of ideas about the physical world, which is often referred to as Aristotelian physics. Related to his concept of force, it is classification of motion as natural, voluntary, and forced. In sum, for Aristotle, no motion is possible without a force acting on the moving object. Or in other words, motion and force are inseparable, and a moving object is always an effect of some kind of entelechy, either visible or invisible. In his natural motion category, he believed that objects intrinsically either had a tendency to fall, which he called gravity, or a tendency to rise into the sky, which he called levity. He thought that heavy objects fall faster because the falling speed is in proportion to the nature or weight of the objects. He believed that earth and the sky are natural places objects would move to according to, to their internal natural tendencies. His theory of voluntary motion refers to the motion of living organisms who are agents able to exert force to make other inanimate objects move. He stated that non-living objects are obstacles that stop or guide motion, but they do not exert forces. And in his forced motion category, he believed an object would move because of the moving force applied to it by an agent, and that the object continues to move after the agent is no longer in contact with it because the force is still transmitted to the object through a medium such as air. He called this his antiperistasis theory. He believed a force does not move an object unless it overcomes the object's inertia, and that in the absence of force, an object would stop immediately. So we know that many of Aristotle's views that I just mentioned were gravely incorrect, and that objects actually do fall at an acceleration which is constant, that we call acceleration due to gravity. So though Aristotle's views, however, were incorrect in many ways, it did help in the development of our laws. Aristotle believed that a constant force applied to an object produces a constant speed, which is also inversely proportional to the inertia of the object, which he called F equal mv. But we know this is not so. It's actually force proportional to the acceleration of a body, which is Newton's second law, force equal to mass times acceleration. So Aristotle was actually misled into equating force with velocity rather than as Sir Isaac Newton was to show much later with mass times acceleration. Nevertheless, Aristotle was a great physician and made great contributions to physics. I'll leave you with one of his quotes. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.